All right, in this video, I'm gonna explain how you can lose fat mass eating at calorie maintenance and why you don't need to be in a calorie deficit to lose fat mass. This information is coming from a basic understanding of the laws of thermodynamics and the laws of conservation of energy. So let's get right into the specific details. Positive nitrogen balance means that you're gaining muscle, while a negative nitrogen balance means that you're losing muscle. Now, whether you're eating in a calorie deficit at calorie maintenance or in a calorie surplus, you can still be in a positive nitrogen balance or a negative nitrogen balance, whether you're in a calorie deficit eating at calorie maintenance or in a calorie surplus. So for this example here, we're gonna assume that you're eating at calorie maintenance. So for the text in purple, I just explained the starting point. So we're just gonna assume you're starting at 150 pounds, 20% body fat, which would mean 30 pounds of the weight would be fat mass, and 120 pounds would be fat-free mass. Now, it would be a realistic goal to try to achieve the numbers on the right under positive nitrogen balance six months from now. Now, obviously, some people will say to make this happen, what you need to do is you need to bulk the first three months and then cut the next three months. But you can achieve this here by eating at calorie maintenance and staying in that positive nitrogen balance. So when we compare the numbers under start to the numbers under positive nitrogen balance and look at this as an example of a six month transformation, you can see here that the pounds on the scale stayed the same because we were eating at calorie maintenance. Well, the body fat percentage went down from 20% to 15% and the um, pounds of fat mass went down from 30 pounds to 22.5 pounds. And then the pounds of fat-free mass went up from 120 pounds to 127.5 pounds. So during this six-month transformation here, you would have dropped 5% body fat, you would have dropped 7.5 pounds of fat mass, and you would have gained 7.5 pounds of lean mass. Some reasons why I'm going through these numbers and explaining why it's important to understand this here is because a lot of people say they want to lose weight or they want to gain weight. When really, if you want to lose weight, I'm assuming you want to lose fat mass. And if you want to gain weight, I'm assuming you want to gain fat-free mass. So yes, you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, but you don't need to be in a calorie deficit to lose fat mass. And yes, you need to be in a calorie surplus to gain weight, but you do not need to be in a calorie surplus to gain fat-free mass. So just a quick recap of that, we stayed at 150 pounds, so that means we were eating at calorie maintenance because we stayed at that weight, but we still lost fat mass and we still gained lean mass or fat-free mass. So this also shows that you can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. So now we're going to compare the starting point numbers, the ones in purple, to the negative nitrogen balance numbers, the ones in red. So again here we're assuming that you're eating at calorie maintenance. So during this, which you could call a regression, um, you still stayed at the same weight here. 150 pounds. Now body fat percentage went from 20% to 25%. So again here, this is a regression because we're comparing what would happen if you were in a negative nitrogen balance. Now fat mass here increased. It went from 30 pounds of fat mass to 37.5 pounds of fat mass. And fat free mass here decreased. It went from 120 pounds of fat free mass to 112.5 pounds of fat free mass. So the point here is if I had a client and I saw this type of regression here, we would not be focusing on the calories. 
yeah, we would be trying to eat around calorie maintenance, but this would not be our focus here. The focus here would need to be to be in a positive nitrogen balance because if you eat at calorie maintenance and fat-free mass goes up, fat mass will have to go down and body fat percentage will have to go down. So to be more scientific here, if you eat at calorie maintenance and the pounds on the scale stays the same, there will be an inverse relationship between fat mass and between fat-free mass. Now, another thing this example here shows is just because you eat at calorie maintenance does not mean you'll maintain fat mass. You could still gain fat mass if you're eating at calorie maintenance. Also, just because you eat at calorie maintenance does not mean you'll maintain lean muscle mass. You can also lose lean muscle mass by eating at calorie maintenance. So when it comes to setting specific fitness goals here, it shouldn't be, I want to lose 10 pounds or I want to gain 10 pounds. It should be, I want to lose 10 pounds of fat mass or I want to gain 10 pounds of fat-free mass. So this right here is an example of a body composition assessment. So there's my body mass index. There's my resting metabolic rate. That's the number of calories I'd burn if I was doing nothing. There's my body fat percentage. There's my fat mass. There's my fat free mass. And there's my water weight. This right there just has to do with how the machine measures these numbers. And then you can see those same four measurements for my right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm, and trunk. I will make another video explaining the specifics on what all these numbers here mean when it comes to body composition. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on that video. But I just wanted to show what a body composition assessment would look like. You can get this tested using a bioelectrical impedance machine. They probably have one at your gym. So I know that in this video, I didn't go through all the specific details on the science behind all of this. Um, that will be coming out in a later video in this playlist. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on that video. But I did leave where I got my information from and the science behind this in the description. So make sure you go ahead and check out that link if that interests you. All right, so I know it's a lot of information here. A quick recap of what we covered is you should be focusing more on being in a positive nitrogen balance rather than just focusing on the calories when it comes to improving your body composition. So when it comes to bringing fat mass down and bringing fat free mass up. Now, if you're still confused, make sure you comment your questions below and make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be making more videos on this topic. But I hope this video helps and I wish the best of luck to each and every one of you at achieving your fitness goals.